Hi everyone! Welcome back sa aking channel. At kung bago ka sa aking channel, huwag kalimutang i-hit ang subscribe button at i-click ang notification bell para ma-update ka sa mga bago at bonggang uploads ko. So yun nga guys, it's a new week so that means another video and for today's video or for today's content of my vlog, we will be focusing on again and again the drastic process of HRT. So ang napaka drastic na proseso ng HRT and as you can see sa ating thumbnail, sa ating title, ang magiging content po ng ating vlog sa araw na ito is mga dapat tandaan or those and don'ts sa proseso ng HRT and guilty ba ko or not guilty with regards to this um, aspect or statements that we need to as a trans woman that we really need to be careful or to watch out for. Pero bago natin simulan yan guys, nice ko lang sana bigyang linaw na ang vlog na ito ay based sa vlog ni Miss Disney, Miss Disney May Last. So, Based sa mga nag-comment sa aking mga previous uploads, sinasabi nila na kinokopya or ginagaya ko raw si Miss Destiny. And I want to clarify things na hindi ko siya ginagaya. Talagang na-inspired lang talaga ako gumawa ng content, content na somewhat related sa kanyang vlog. So, disclaimer, I'm not copying to any vlogger or any content creator. I was just in inspired to, ba to base my content or my videos, just like their videos also. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, unang statement is, wag manggaya, wag manggaya ng combo ng iba. Guilty or not, in my case, I must say that I am guilty. Since, noong una pa lang, wala talaga akong kalam-alam o ideya patungkol sa kung ano ang mga combos na dapat itake or ano ang mga medicines or pills na dapat itake. So, ang ginawa ko, nagtanong-tanong ako ng aking mga kaibigan, ng mga transpinay din, nagtanong ako sa kanila at sinabi, sa, sinabi nila sa akin kung ano ang mga gamit nila. So, yun nga, for statement number one, huwag manggaya ng combo ng iba, masasabi ko na guilty ako sa statement na ito dahil talagang ginaya ko ang kung ano ang mga unang pills na tinake ng mga kaibigan kong transpinay, eh kasi nga wala akong ibang alam or wala akong kaide-idea kung ano ang mga combos or pills na dapat itake. So yun nga, ginaya ko ang kung ano ang combo ng aking mga kaibigan na transpinay. Now, let's proceed to the sec second statement. Wag, mag wag makinig sa sabi-sabi. So, guilty or not. In my case, again, guilty. So, as a first-timer, talagang wala ka pang kamuwang-muwang sa ganitong proseso. So, talagang magiging dependent ka sa mga taong nakadaan na or nakatungtong na sa ganitong proseso. So, mangailangan ka talaga ng opinion ng ibang tao, specifically, doon sa mga transpinay na kaibigan at kakilala mo, mangailangan ka talaga ng kanilang mga opinion or mga kuro-kuro o sabi-sabi kasi nga, bago ka pa lang sa ganitong proseso. So, in my case, Marami ako mga nakikinig sa aking mga kaibigan na mga sabi-sabi patungkol sa proseso ng HRT. At isa na doon is, bawal mag-take or bawal uminom ng soft drinks habang dumadaan ka sa ganitong proseso. At as I conducted some research, I found out na okay lang palang mag-take ng mga or uminom ng soft drinks dahil walang correlation ang pag-take ng hormones at pag-iinom ng soft drinks. So, dapat alam mo ang yung limitasyon at dapat mag-take ng or mag-drink ng soft drinks with moderation. So, healthy lifestyle ang kailangan upang maging successful sa proseso ng HRT. Third statement, avoid smoking and drinking. In my case, guilty or not, I must say that I'm not guilty because I'm a type of person na talagang even though I'm not that physically fit, I'm not that physically healthy because I'm a bit lazy doing exercises and physical activities, I must say that I'm having 
this thing called healthy lifestyle. I'm not smoking nor drinking alcoholic drinks because I know health is very important. So, sa statement na ito, masabi ko na hindi ako guilty dahil hindi ako umiinom ng mga beer or mga alak dyan at hindi na ako nagsisigarilyo because alam ko kasi ang mga consequences or possible effects of doing such things kaya sa una pa lang, hindi talaga ako umi-engage, I'm not really engaging myself into this kind of activities because I know it will just ruin my health aspect as a person. Fourth statement, don't even self-medicate. And I must say that I am guilty. I am self-medicating because of many reasons. First, in our area, sa Bohol, walang endocrinologist na mapupu map Pupuntahan. So, the best option is mag self medicate. And I was also inspired by my friends, trans women friends, na dumaan sa ganitong proseso. And they're also doing the same thing. They're self medicating. And based on what I see, I'm, look, I'm seeing good results in them, even though they're just self medicating. And I was also thinking na. Baka if mag self medicate ako, maging successful din ang proseso. Magiging successful din ang pagdadaanan kong proseso ang HRT. So, yes, I'm guilty because I am self medicating. But, napagisipan ko rin na pag nakaluwag luwag na, then I will really invest in um, consulting from a medical practitioner because ang pagdaan sa proseso ng HRT, it's a very drastic and at the same time risky process so you have to make sure that you're in a good health condition you're having such a good you're in a good will or health you're having a healthy living or i mean you're having such a good health condition and you have to make sure you have to consider your health because it's gonna be a risky thing so yeah that's it guys next statement don't take hormones if you don't know their effects. I'm not guilty with this because I asked a lot of friends. I asked a lot of my friends about these hormones, and I also conducted um, several researches from the net about what are the right um, hormones to take and what are the effects they could give to my body. So first, let's talk about the estrogen hormone. So, um, in undergoing this process, you will be needing to um, medicine. So one is the estrogen hormone, and second is the anti-androgen or the testosterone blocker. So the estrogen. So the main purpose of estrogen is to for you to have or to develop secondary female characteristics. So in my case, I'm using Progainova for orals. Before I was taking injectable, which is the phenocanon, but I stopped phenocanon because I feel like injectable hormones they are way risky for me, and I feel like it's a very challenging thing for me to administer injections on my own then for the testosterone testosterone blocker first i am before i'm taking this spironolactone and now i switch into androcure it's also a testosterone blocker and i feel like progainova and androcure it's a very perfect combo hormone for my um for my process or for my hrt um, journey. Next statement, do a lot of research and be patient. So, yes, I'm doing this. Especially knowing the fact na hindi ako nagkonsulta sa isang endocrinologist. So, ang option ka lang is magtanong sa aking mga friends pinay na kaibigan at magconduct ng intensive research para sa napaka-drastic ng proseso ng HRT. So, through researching and through asking questions from your friends, magkakaroon ka ng idea on what are the things that you should do and what are those things that you should avoid while you are undergoing in this process, the HRT. So, kapag dalaman mo ang mga bagay na dapat mong iwasan, so yes, may iwasan mo ang mga bagay na yun kapag alam mo na bawal pala yun sa proseso ng HRT. Pero, hindi rin reliable guys kasi nga, Hindi sila mga experto sa ganitong larangan. So, my tendency na, for example, magtatanong ka kung ano mga combos na dapat itake. So, ang tendency kasi niyan, may mga hormones na hiyang sa kanila at hindi hiyang sa iyo. Meron ding hormones na hiyang sa iyo at hindi hiyang sa kanila. So, 
much better kung magkonsulta talaga ng isang endocrinologist o isang um, tao na experto sa ganitong larangan. Next statement, mga Vez, have a healthy diet and exercise. Again, as I've said earlier, na I'm not really having this kind of healthy diet and lifestyle right now na dumaan ako sa ganitong proseso ng HRD. And I must say that I'm guilty with that statement because what I noticed, guys, is sa pagdaan ko sa ganitong proseso, sa pag-take ko ng mga hormones at mga pills na yan, is na-notice ko na mas nag-crave ako ng mga pagkain. Mas, yes, before, na hindi ba ako dumadaan sa ganitong proseso, talagang mahilig na talaga ako sa mga pagkain. Pero, mas lumala pa siya nung dumaan ako sa ganitong proseso. Kaya, I must say na sa pagdaan ko sa ganitong proseso, talagang, Wala talaga akong control sa pagkain ng mga pagkain na gusto kong tikman. Eh kasi nga, ang cravings ko is napakataas at I just can't control it, to be honest. And sa mga, based nga sa mga observations ng aking mga classmates ngayon, sinasabi nila na tumataba ako ng bongga dahil tumataba daw ako ng bongga at hindi nila alam na and in my opinion, I feel like it's one of the effects or isa siya sa mga epekto na naidudulot ng pag-undergo ko ng proseso ng HRT. And at the same time, tinatamad din akong mag-exercise o, mag o gumawa ng mga um, activities upang mapadili ang pag-burn ng, pag ng mga pagkain na aking kinakain. So yun nga, ang epekto... Lumulubo ako ng gusto at ng bongga. Pero, I'm planning na next week, I will really make a big difference with regards to my diet and my yeah my lifestyle. But I feel like, let's see if kaya ko ba itong ma-achieve. Commitment lang talaga ang susi, mga vibes. Next statement. Don't blame it all in your hormones. I am guilty. Because I'm blaming everything that is happening right now to me. Like for example, with regards to my emotion. So, palagi talaga akong nag-mood swings or palagi talaga pa iba iba ang mood ko. So, I must say na the hormones, it has something to do with it. So, sa aking mood swings. And at the same, um, at the same time, sa aking memory capacity. So, before, sa pagsasadi ko ng mga notes, because I'm still a college student, I must say na talagang... Ako yung uri ng tao na talagang mabilis mag-memorize ng mga notes, yung mga concepts, and whatever, um, those stuffs that kailangan kong pag-aralan before. Talagang mabilis talaga ako mag-memorize. At sa pag-undergo ko ng proseso ng HRT, mas bumilis pa yung aking capacity na mag-memorize ng mga concepts na, yun, na yun, mga words, na lang, mga definition. And ang biniblame ko doon is ang pag-undergo ko sa proseso ng HRT. Pero, I'm not really sure kung epekto ba siya sa pag ko ng mga ganitong uri ng medicines o hormones. Next statement, mga vets, make sure that you have enough money. And as a student for me, as a student like me, I don't think it's kind of like achievable because I'm still a student and I'm still working on building a better future for me and isa siya sa mga may consider ko na challenge para challenge talaga para sa mga trans pinay na mga, yung mga trans pinay na talagang they were belong in those lower class lower class members of the society and I will consider myself as one of them the less fortunate person really want to undergo such drastic process and you know what in undergoing such process pera kailangan mo talaga ng pera sa pagbibili ng mga ganitong uri ng hormones kasi nga lifelong medication na siya so kailangan siya pang habang buhay mo siyang tinitake pag kasi nag-stop ka may tendency na magkakaroon ng withdrawal effects at pag nag-stop ka at hindi consistent yung pag-iinom mo ng mga ganitong uri ng hormones Talagang mahirapan ka sa pag-achieve sa pag-achieve ng babaehan vibe na gusto mong ma-achieve. Eh kasi nga putol-putol ang pag-take mo, pag-take mo sa mga ganitong uri ng hormones. So, yes, 
money is really a must kung gusto mong dumaan sa ganitong proseso ang HRT and I must say guys na luging luging na talaga ako pero yun nga I'm working really hard with my studies in order for me to have a stable job in the near future so I can provide for myself those medicines that I really need for this process the HRT sorry with my voice I'm having such a rough cup rough cup for this week or rough cup this week until now check along <laughs> next statement do not self inject if you do not know how and i'm guilty guys because before i am self injecting because my friend isa sa mga friends ko na nurse na tagang nag inject sa akin sa akin pumunta siya ng canada and the only option is for me to administer self um injection and ang ginawa ko is before talagang nagtanong ako sa a friend ko na nurse kung paano ginagawa ang intramuscular injection specifically sa vasos laterales and I also watch videos in YouTube on how to administer and I know guys wag nyo siyang gayahin because it's really a risky thing kung gusto nyo dumaan sa ganitong proseso dapat mag mangailangan ka ng assistance from a nurse or a, or a doctor doctor sa pag inject mo ng hormones next buy hormones from legit sellers so yes i'm doing this a lot the purpose of buying hormones from legit sellers is to make sure na hindi fake yung mga hormones na tinitake mo eh kasi pag fake yung mga hormones na tinitake mo talagang you're putting your life or especially your health in a great risk and we don't want that thing to happen right because gusto mo pang maging successful sa ganitong proseso and also Mga kailangan kasi mga legit sellers ka bumili to make sure na maging successful ang pagdaan mo sa proseso ng HRT. Next statement, best combo is one estrogen plus one anti-androgen. So, hindi pwedeng estrogen lang ang tinitake mo at hindi rin pwedeng anti-androgen lang ang tinitake mo. So, dapat combos talaga silang dalawa. And I must say guys na hindi ako guilty, guilty sa statement na ito kasi I'm following this I'm doing this and I'm, I'm using Progainova as my estrogen home estrogen combo and also using Androcur as my anti-androgen or testosterone blocker that's it next statement use supplements for extra freshness so ito guys it's it's optional so depende lang sa iyo kung gusto mo magtake ng mga supplements kagaya ng mga collagen mga glutathione like in my case i'm using the prime collagen and the la moon female hormone enhancer and i'm also planning to invest myself in taking the um widening products such as glutathione but i feel like it's it will be useless since mainit sa ciudad so um i will just focus on taking collagen supplements yes that's it second to the last statement take hormones same time every day so i'm gonna say that i'm doing this a lot meron talaga akong specific schedule kung kailan ko tinitake ang aking estrogen hormone at meron din akong schedule kung when ko tinitake ang aking testosterone blocker at meron din akong schedule noon kung when kung ini-inject ang aking hormone injectable hormones and once a week ko siya ini-inject noon pero ngayon i stop na eh, kasi nga it's a very challenging thing for me to do such thing or to patronize or to go for injectable hormones and for the last statement don't allow a routine without medical basis and i must say that i'm guilty because in the first place hindi ako nagkonsulta sa isang endocrinologist so wala talaga akong proper routine or proper routine na nakabase sa medical basis pero and i'm just hoping for the best na magiging successful ang ganitong proseso meron kasi ako mga kakilalang transpinay na hindi duma hindi pumunta sa mga endocrinologist mga medical practitioner na yan pero nakikita ko is nagiging successful ang pagdaan nila sa ganitong proseso talagang tiwala lang talaga ang kailangan at sabayan mo na rin ng dasal at tiwala sa proseso so yun mga vevs natapos na po natin ang ating vlog or ang aking vlog sa araw na ito so I really hope na you learned something out of this vlog so 
thank you so much for watching please do and continue on supporting me please click the subscribe button thank you so much for watching god bless us all and see you on my next video